So this is the 7th, Monday, the 7th of October. We're just plugged in and channeling a little bit. As you know, fluidity is the key to every door. The ocean is here to bring that into embodiment in your nervous systems. That is why you're here, to embody oceanic fluidity. It's important to be fluid in your psyche, in the tuning into the higher realms of guidance and light, and to bear witness to the truth of what's being shown in the ethers, and to see that here on the physical plane. So it is being the seer, it is touching the vision in your mind and bringing it down through embodiment through the body into manifestation. That is why you are here. It is being fluid between the realms. <clears throat> if you tune into yourselves energetically, you will notice your orientation in space and time. Your energy bodies are not down in the trenches where the discord is materializing. Your energy bodies are hovering between the realms of the vision of the new earth and the new humanity and that which is transpiring on the physical plane. So your bodies don't know what to do with themselves and feel agitated because in a sense nobody's home. <laughs> And yet you are completely, absolutely awake and present simultaneously. And so in today, the process is working her by showing her all the places where she gets hooked by her own attachment to ideas, opinions, people, experiences, and relationships. And the fluidity is being worked into her body. That's why she's here. Releasing attachments and learning to be the seer of realms and the bringer of the new world. And one must not be distracted by attachments when one is doing that work. One can enjoy them and cherish them and play in them, however not to be distracted by them. So there is a certain ego death happening for Danae. And as this channel is coming through, I literally am seeing my energy body hovering between the realms. I see the mm -hmm. exact images they're saying, and of course, mm -hmm. so do you. May I ask for you? Please. Okay. The same is happening for Shada in a very different frequency of event. In the same way, you had to strip down and chose to strip down by your soul's decision from your life and identities in Colorado to become the one who embodies as Ecuador. You are now in the same exact process of releasing Ecuador from your life completely. This does not mean an interpretation of moving out of the country. It is the pull and dance of distraction. So when your emotional body gets caught up in opinions and ferocity around what you're witnessing in your country, your subtle energies are getting distracted by the pull of that attraction. So for you to loose the energetics of those opinions and passions and give them to the fluidity of the ocean, give it away to the water, do ceremony at the water in the mornings, the two of you together do ceremony at the water. You're here to do ceremony at the water. This is what it looks like. So bring together the couple from up the road and bring together Mike and Ingeborg and invite and do your water ceremony. It's time. 
It is not only a blessing of the water, which is most needed on the physical plane, it is a digestion and integration of fluidity at a whole new level. You know yourselves to be fluid to the degree that you do, and now more is necessary. Taking a moment to download the energetic frequencies of that fluidity as you can feel. I'm being shown images of us all coexisting in this home, and it feels like a home. We're not stuck at someone's house and that you and I are not tuning into holding ceremony in the house, creating a ritual, inviting them into it. We're not tuning into life here as the temple, not 24 seven, simply to bring those elements forward onto the physical plane. This is partly because you are seers and you are here to bring the vision down and anchor it. Bringing the vision down and anchor it means you touch the realms and then you literally take direct action upon it where you are. And so talk that over with Ingeborg and Mike and see what their collaboration would be if they like that idea and what their contribution would be and move into a different quality for a short period of time each day. It will help to anchor that energy here in this home, which will stabilize it on the physical plane. And that is good long term for Mike and Ingeborg. So you are here to do the work of fluid seers. Seeing deeply within, seeing deeply without, trusting, you will know when it's time to exit. Danae, you will know when it's time to get on a plane, no matter what you leave behind or where the plane picks up from. And everything and nothing comes to pass simultaneously. So all thoughts, all perceptions, are best coming from the ethers to anchor and bring the vision down into form and see the world you're choosing to create. You can send forth a note to your spiritual circles on this particular focus each day. You can line up for a common meditation time or you can simply ask everyone to spend one minute in their heart a day with focused attention on what they're seeing in the ethers and bringing it forward. In the construction of the new reality, only in the highest frequency of love, no fear, no separation, no judgment, simply those who are clean and clear enough who have the emotional intelligence and grounded seasoning and know how to hold the energy to see and bring it forward. and being shown images of all of our four-leggeds grounding the energy with us that they already understand the energetics of what we're being asked to do and are partnering with us regardless of personality snits. <laughs> Thank your medicine animals for their assistance.
and to take a break or stop channeling and become receptive and ask to see what happens through you or what has been happening mm. wants to happen. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 